Get ready to dive into the action as we take you inside the electrifying world of the Philippine Blockchain Week 2023 here at the Marriott Hotel. It's the second year of this groundbreaking event and we're here to bring you insights, innovations and highlights of what's reshaping the future of blockchain here in the Philippines. Let's go! This year's event is all about breaking out from the conventional from the infancy of blockchain in the Philippines and from the obstacles standing in the way of mass adoption. Support blockchain. I'm here to whatever you like me to do. To sponsor a bill for you, I'll do it. Because I believe that the world is going digital. So you believe in the power of blockchain technology Definitely. and how... It Definitely. can streamline um, maybe enterprises and Everything. government services. Everything. Ang gobyerno natin, masyado pa rin conventional. Uh, uh, parang nasa 1950s pa rin tayo. Manual pa rin. So, nung na-expose tayo dito sa blockchain, this will really help us a lot. Uh, magiging mabilis ang transaction. Alam mo, pag mabilis ang transaction, ibig sabihin there's progress. You know, that's the sign that there is progress. So, pag nagawa natin to, na-adapt ng gobyerno to, maging digital tayo, pati businesses natin. Sabi ko nga kanina, ang, ang power na mundo, hindi na military, it's technology. Tandaan natin yun. Pagka tayo sa Pilipinas, if we stick on being conventional, not, not uh, technologically advanced, Mahuli tayo. Hindi tayo dapat reactionary, dapat talaga proactive tayo. We have to accept this now. What regulatory challenges or opportunities currently are you seeing that's shaping um, the blockchain landscape in the Philippines? And how is Coins.ph navigating these challenges or opportunities? Yeah. Um, I think re regulation has been a challenge, I think, for everyone in this space, but I think less so for us, given that we're one of the first licensed VASPs here in the Philippines, and we've been operating, I think, you know, for the last seven or eight years now, under the direction and regulation of the BSP, which in my mind has been actually one of the more stable and practical regulators for blockchain and for crypto assets here on a global basis. But aside from just coins and digital currency, Filipinos are starting to realize the true potential of blockchain, with use cases ranging from charity all the way to the creative industry. This morning, we heard you talk about your initiative, NFTs for Autism. Could you tell us more about this, Michelle? Well, Spectrum Sanctuary Collection is actually a 5,000-piece NFT collection. We will be releasing the first 1,000 premier collections that will be donated to individuals on the autism spectrum. But essentially, it is 5,000 meticulously hand-painted um, art pieces by Marius Black that was then digitally converted to create these NFTs. So it wasn't generated using the software. So it was actually one by one piece together by the artist. Um, and of course, me, I've been such an advocate for Web3 adoption, but I've also been such an advocate for autism awareness. It's my lifelong mission because of my two autistic siblings. So what I just wanted to do is merge both of my passions because I do believe that blockchain is the future. As you see, the world now changed to uh, digital and we love uh, to be always updated with the new collection, with the new fashion, with the new technology. That's why we are here in Philippines. Uh, we choose Philippines because, uh, you know, Michael Sinko, my business partner, he uh, Filipino. That's why we choose his home country to launching our first uh, fashion uh, digital in Philippines. I think we're all interested to learn more about the Web3 um, and I don't know anything about it. So I'm here to learn. Great. And you? Uh, same thing with Isa. Um, you know, we hear a lot about NFTs, about Web3, about the metaverse. But, you know, for someone like me who's not really in the space, I want to learn more about it, how we can use it to kind of further, you know, our business as creatives, as individuals. And yeah, I'm just here to kind of like absorb all the information today. Which brings us to one of the conference's most important goals, educating the public on what blockchain is and how they can leverage it for success. 
So if you see, nothing here mentions blockchain. The most important thing is it just works. That's the thing that we were about. This is about changing our lives and driving the biggest social impact movement of all time. So what we're doing is we're looking for companies, people who have ideas on how to make blockchain so useful that you don't even need to know that it's blockchain. Right, so that we, we can make it useful, people can cut through the hype. We incubate idea stage startups who want to use blockchain as a solution uh, to what, solve whatever problems out there. This is the second year that we are also sponsoring Philippine Blockchain Week and we find value in participating and supporting any Philippine initiatives surrounding the space. So this is what the reason why we're here. We want to make sure that uh, we share that you know, support and guidance um, you know, in the industry and towards the people or movers and shakers participating here as well. The way it works is like it's a three month incubation program where we divide it into three parts. The first one is just making sure that you nail the right problem. Second part is like solutions of building the solution. And third one is going to investors, making your execution ready. BSV is a partner because we're working on blockchain. BSV is one of the most powerful blockchain protocols out there. Um, so we're working with BSV and the engine community. Well, it's a very exciting time for the Philippines. Now we are seeing shifts um, towards actual blockchain solutions and how it can impact, how it can benefit the entire government and the entire Philippines. Uh, we've seen fintech side really, um, you know, with their explosion of different products. You see um, traditional banks opening their digital banks here in the Philippines, um, using blockchain technology in that sense. And now we have seen also the government really trying to understand the, the science, the technology behind blockchain and I think that is uh, very important and we are in the critical stage because um, this is where it begins and this is where it's gonna go. We're standing right in front of the Nexus fanfare so tell us Jessica what is going on behind this. We want to bring together streamers, cosplayers, gamers into one event and it's just to showcase all of the the amazing talents and the fandom that, you know, the, the meet and greets. And how are events like this pushing forward blockchain technology in, in the country? Number one, the name is Nexus Fanfare. It's not even Philippine Blockchain Week. So people are very scared to hear blockchain, right? So we termed it in such a way that people can actually buy it. And it's a separate entrance. But when they enter, there are blockchain companies, there are blockchain gaming companies that's in here. So, you know, they, they would be aware of like, oh, what's blockchain? At least even the, the, the curiosity that this brings will actually bring the mass adoption. CoinGeek's BitCade is one example of how gaming can help encourage mass adoption by showing instead of telling how blockchain can help improve how we do things. Each player gets to learn firsthand about things like digital wallets, nano payments, and the best part is people of all ages can enjoy it. What do you think has been your biggest achievement here so far and um, in this year's Philippine Blockchain Week? It's really getting all the stakeholders in the blockchain ecosystem involved. You know, I think if you compare a lot of the other blockchain weeks around the world, you will see very few involvement from maybe the government sector. It's really a lot of Web3 people getting together. I think we've set the benchmark for really waking up the entire ecosystem. And there you have it, the Philippine Blockchain Week 2023 breakout. It's been a week full of innovation, inspiration, and opportunities. And as they say in the blockchain world, when in doubt, break out. So keep breaking through those digital frontiers. And who knows, you might just be the next breakout star in the blockchain universe. Until next time, I'm Clara Saldran for CoinGeek.com. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stable coins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. 
Blockchain 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.